everybody, Jeremy, trail name Almost with Midwest Backpacker. Today I'm going to show you how you can mix, dilute, and apply permethrin to your hiking clothes to hopefully avoid ticks. If you do your homework, a lot of people have a problem with putting permethrin on clothing and wearing it. Uh, they're afraid of that toxicity and the chemicals being on your body. Uh, if you're one of those people, you don't have to troll this video. I personally don't have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is getting bitten by a tick and all the nasty diseases and health problems that you're going to have if a tick bites you. So. There are a couple different ways that you can do this. You can buy a uh, pre-diluted, uh, already down to the right concentration, permethrin in a spray bottle from Walmart or from REI. The way that I do it is I buy a farm grade permethrin. This is at 10%, so way higher than you want to put on your clothing. You can buy this at any farm store, hardware store. Uh, they use it with livestock. So, uh, you need to dilute this down. And the reason why I do this is, um, you know, you can uh, dilute it down and put it on a spray bottle just like you would with that Sawyer bottle that you get at Walmart or REI. But what I like to do is dilute it down in a bucket and dip my clothing in it. That way you're getting the inside, the outside, and I think it lasts a little bit longer than spraying. So, uh, the tricky part here is you need to go down from that strong 10% permethrin down to the 0.5%. So some different things that you look at, it's about 19 parts water to one part of the 10% permethrin. What I'm going to do today is I have 64 ounces of water that I'm going to pour into this bucket and I have about three and a half ounces of permethrin that I'm going to mix into there and then I'm going to dip my clothing in it and then hang it back up. Okay, so I've treated all my clothing. I treated three shirts, a pair of pants, some long underwear, some shorts, uh, several pairs of socks, a buff, all of that with that half gallon. So the key when you're doing this is if you don't wring out that clothing after you've dipped it in the bucket, you're gonna soak up a lot. You really gotta wring it out uh, so you can stretch 
that permethrin over a bunch of different clothing items. One thing that you should note is you do need to respect that 10% permethrin. Uh, and you can see that I'm wearing some rubber gloves and you need to be in a well ventilated area. I would not do this inside of your house, uh, do it inside of your garage, but you also need to do it someplace where small children and animals aren't going to be around because uh, as you can see, the permethrin is dripping on the floor. So right now this is pretty smelly uh, and it's gonna be smelly as it dries out. It's gonna take a couple days and it's gonna off gas. So I usually leave it out here in my shed for four or five days. I'm gonna close my shed That way those kids and uh, the animals can't get in to where that permethrin is. So, uh, hey, I do a lot of backpacking, hiking, gear type videos. If you like that sort of thing, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you have any other ideas about treating clothing with permethrin, put that in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you back out on the trail.